so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the Knight Silver Hand model. So if you remember in the uh, beginning of this video, there were only 10 Geo sets, but now there are 14. So basically, this for uh, the additional four Geo sets represent the parts which we added. For example, if you go here, 11. So this is the main body armor. So what we're going to do is, if you view it under view matrices, you have zero. So what we're going to do is add matrix zero, zero, then cancel. This isn't really necessary what I'm doing, but it's going to be much easier looking for um, these sections. Uh, you'll see later. So add zero, zero, then go to switch geoset. And then let's go to 12 again add matrix 0 0 then cancel if you look at view matrix you now see it for the next geo set again add 0 0 look at uh, check under the view matrix and then finally the last geo set geo set 14 0 0 0 0 cancel okay now what we're going to do is we're going to fill up these matrices with the matrices of the original uh, what do you call this the original geo set the first one for this model now if you look under view matrices of the original geo set you have this very long set of numbers so for example it starts with 17 okay so basically these numbers refers to the bones and you can see the bones under the node manager in magos editor as you can see here for example uh, how do i explain it well basically for example this bone refers to the um back um, what do you call this at uh, the back right leg of the horse so for example this refers to uh this bone refers to that anyways so save uh, oh i mean so take note so the first number in this matrices is 17 okay then save then i you, uh, you need to open it so here you have the file you need to open it in notepad okay now uh, find that section um, bracket and then 17 and then bracket and then. so basically this portion in the notepad refers to this portion what we need to do is to copy this portion and then overwrite uh, if you go back to the next geoset we need to copy this portion and overwrite it here so that's why we added this zero zero so that we can find it easier so copy this section starting from the groups part then go to up to here including this bracket then copy that then look for this region so okay zero zero okay oops wrong okay here it is so this portion refers to this portion we need to copy this over here and then look for the rest so there are four new geo sets so we need to copy it over there copy it over there and then finally the last one copy it over here save and then when you reopen the model go back to 11 you can now see the matrices now has the same matrices as the original geoset now we're not yet done what we're going to do now is we're going to um merge uh, re-import the uh geoset so if you select all this and then check vertex group selection it only has zero so what we're going to do now is we're going to merge the geoset from the 
original uh, not original from the um, uh, separate part so for example remember that this portion refers to the dummy dummy or rather dummy 2 so merge geoset dummy 2 okay now what you're going to do is right after you merge the uh, load uh, rather what right after you merge the geoset from dummy 2 click invert selection and then if you uh, move the uh, you can move the uh, selected portion by holding right then uh, holding right then moving the mouse and then releasing the right button you can see there so this is the um, original portion if you look at the vertex group selection it's only zero so delete this oops delete this now if you select over the uh, merge G, uh, the parts that were added by a merge geoset and then uh, vert check vertex group selection you will now see this um, vertex groups okay now for example uh, go to the 12th geoset well one way to make it so that uh, it's not really confu uh, less confusing so this is the you only have vertex group selection zero again you can move it down hold the right button right mouse button move it then merge geoset so remember this refers to the dummy okay so the new portions added via the merge geoset has the appropriate um, vertex groups this vertex groups refers to this matrices and the matrices refers to the bones of the model again confusing if you're not really used to uh, the basics of modeling yet then you need to delete the original um, geosets which don't have vertex groups and then finally go to uh, again move this so it's less confusing merge so this refers to the shoes invert selection and then finally again you can move it so you know the new ones added merge to set so this is the pauldron team color and then finally there and then delete the original portion and then save now once you open this model crossing my finger now oops let's see if he works hmm oh there it is so it works so basically we now have a knight for the silver hand okay we're not done yet <laughs> Just a few more touches so <clears throat> excuse me so as you can see here we have the knight silver hand we need to save it as a dot mdx file and then afterwards open the so-called matrix eater so the matrix eater uh, it's another program it basically gets rid of unused uh, vertex uh, unused matrices so for example in this uh, geoset recall only the uh, vertex groups for these numbers are used so the matrix eaters is going to delete all the unused numbers here now this is very important because any uh, if there are any unused um, matrices it's going to cause a bug uh, in game although you won't be able to see it in the model to, uh, model editor itself unused mate uh, unused matrices are going to cause bugs once you use the model within the game itself okay so open it so where is it here it is knight silver hand version one okay and then save as and then that's it now we're going to import the model and then where is it here it is knight silver hand and then save 
and then let's go to the object editor hmm. again let's make a new knight and then under uh, editor suffix let's add silver hand okay hmm and then under model file oops under model file go look for the here it is knight silver hand so let's compare it save so this is your original knight and under custom is your silver hand knight okay now I'm going to test this model in game. And so now I'm testing my Silverhand Knight model in game. Command me. Yes, my lord. Command me. For the king. I swear it. Yes, my lord. Command me. So, I have hope you've enjoyed watching me doing how I basically do stuff. Whew. So, that's, uh, so based on, uh, I've seen uh, the video, so basically, I've done all of this in about a little more than an hour. Anyway, so I hope I hope other uh, people, if they uh, think they have a feeling maybe they want to get into modeling, maybe. I really hope uh, this video could uh, help them a bit, I guess. So uh, that's it for this video. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to make another tutorial video like this. And hopefully it will be uh, more better, I or rather better. So that's it for now.